that pump okay. out to the body, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can, can you see how this side is bigger? Where's the, where's the little model? Oh, you can, yeah, see that's nice. You can see it better in this one. See how the left ventricle down here definitely looks bigger? And you can see the muscles in here and how thick they are in the left side. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. So, so, where are the arterioventricular valves? Where are the arterioventricular valves? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so this right here, right? So these structures, the valve between the arteries and the ventricles, right? So which one is the right one? This one. Yes, okay. All right, so where is the uh, semilunar valve? Oh. <laughs> okay, so the semilunar valve is between the right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk. Which is there. Here? Yes. Yeah. Right, because this goes like this. Aww. So this is the right ventricle, right, because this is the atria, and that's just the pulmonary trunk, right? And we know it's the pulmonary trunk because it's blue, and we know that it sends it out to the lungs, right? So it's the deoxygenating, the pulmonary means lungs, right? So that's the right semilunar valve. So where's the left semilunar valve? The left semilunar valve must go where? On the right side. The left semilunar valve uh -huh. must go on the left side and it goes to what? Ventricle to? The body. Aorta. Yes! Right? So, so, so where is it on this model? Yes, right here, right? Because it's going out to the aorta. Okay. So, papillary muscles. Okay, so the papillary muscles support what are known as cord chordae tend tendinae. Okay, and the chordae tendinae supports the AV valve. Okay, so which ones are the chordae tendinae? They're supporting the AV valve. No. Up here. Okay, so these are the chordae tendinae. Okay, so which parts are the papillary muscles? The papillary muscles support the chordae tendinae, so they're down here. So on this structure, right, these down here that are fleshy are the papillary muscles, and these white parts are the chordae tendinae. Okay, and what do the chordae tendinae do? Control the pumping. Okay. So which? How? Um, it pulls it like. It contracts and it pulls it inward and then closes it and something like that. Okay. What do you think its main function is? I don't think it, you know, mostly mostly pumping happens by pressure in the heart, right? Right. Differentiation and pressure and it pumps down. It stops it from coming back up. Yes, right? So it closes the valve and keeps it from having it come back, right? So you don't get any back flow. Right, so if they don't work well, or you have a little bit of space, you can get murmurs, right? So the functions of these guys are to, to prevent eversion, prevent backflow of the blood. What happens if you get, like, mix, if you mix blood back in? Does that cause, like, an aneurysm? If you, no, aneurysm is growing up of a, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bursting. But, um, no. Like, if I was to inject, like, deoxygenated blood into an artery, what would happen? I think that if it's small enough, it's not a real problem. You know, like if it's small, uh, small enough. You want a good. No, a small amount of mixing is not a big problem. I actually don't know if it is serious how what happens. I don't know, but um, because you know, like with heart murmurs, a lot of times can also be because there's like you know there's a hole in your heart between. Um, the two sides mm -hmm. when you're when you're a baby that it seals up and it, sometimes it doesn't happen so you get mixing yeah, then too and obviously it's not immediately a problem. a problem because you know sometimes they wait to see if the baby grows for it to fix itself right so if it's small enough it doesn't cause a problem to the point where they need to go and do surgery but if it's big enough yeah I'm not quite sure I mean I think you would probably be fatigued right I mean, just on a physiological level, you're not getting enough oxygen. You're probably not yeah. going to work so well. <laughs> so. All right, so we clear on these structures. Yeah? So if you were to look in here, where are the papillary muscles? Someone who has gloves, point them out to me. <laughs> give, me give me a pointy thing from one of your dissection kits here. I don't feel like washing my hands again. Not that. Oh.
It is. So I don't actually I think like it's your it. worst. I actually don't yeah. like the way they cut this heart. Yeah, I don't like what happened here. It's kind of hard. It's a sheep heart. They didn't, um, give me another one. It's like a hand. I can't really tell the ventricles. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they yeah, cut it. it. It's way inside there. See, here's your valve back here. You gotta really, really wow. pull it open to look. So, I, yeah, I don't like the way they cut it. Okay, so. Here we go. So where are <laughs> the um, papillary muscles, do you think? Here. Which ones are the chordae tendae? No. The ones that you were just messing no. with? This? Yeah. 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 All these, right? So here's the valve right here. See it? Right? Yeah, so these are all, these are all chordae tendae. See them? These little, like, real... So the papillary muscles are down here at the base, right? That they're pulling out of. Right. So yeah, I don't. They didn't cut this very well. Yeah. Yeah. So like the. Close as they can get. Yeah. No, I, I'm really not happy with the way they cut this one. Um. Who cut it? Uh, one of the earlier labs in the week. <laughs> so if you look in here, you can see them in there. See them in there. Mm -hmm. So the chordae tendon are the more, more stringy looking ones, right? And you can see how they can pull on the flaps right here. See? They keep them supported. You see how they kind of keep, it keeps, it, it keeps it outward? It's not, it's not down like this, right? So they support them so that they're open and up, okay? And then these, they, they end in the papillary muscles <laughs> like this one, right? okay? Totally we will use the heart model <laughs> in the exam. We will not use the real heart in the exam. Okay? So. How much of the heart stuff do we need? Because it's the main structures? So whatever yeah. we point out in labs, what you need to know. Okay. Okay. But they also told you to look at the carotid veins and the carotid mm -hmm. arteries, right? <coughs> or the coronary veins and coronary arteries. So where are coronary veins and arteries? Good thing, Fernando. Right? So that I down with right. Right. So w yeah, what is the what is the job of the coronary vein and artery? The heart itself. So that what? <laughs> Which is <laughs> to pump, to pump blood, right? I mean, that's an energetic process, pumping the blood. Okay. So it is job to move everything in here and pump it out to other uh, organs, right? To arteries, right? But it also needs its own supply. So the ones sitting here on the outside are actually responsible for the gas exchange to the heart muscle itself so that it can have the energy to pump and then take away the carbon dioxide build up. And That's the one that they use. Um, they have to change for like, they talk about triple bypass or whatever. Is yeah. that where they put the veins and stuff that they take from other places onto? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I think that's everything in these, mo in these models. I don't really like these white blood cell models to so look at them, but I will not use them on these things. What? Oh, you mean like they won't be covered in the Yeah. Exam? These are, are these are these helpful at all? No. Like what is this?